Hello and welcome to the one and only entertainment show that keeps you updated with the biggest entertainment stories. And of course, I will be analyzing and dissecting them for you alongside Ife Omai and of course, Quincy Jones. What's going on, guys? Sure. How are you guys doing today? It's nice to be here. You forgot my drum roll. Dude, are you, are you a guest? We gave you one time. You want to turn it to your bed, right? <laughs> I don't know. <Wow. laughs> I don't tell him. So, so just now I know I should never come to your house more than once. <laughs> or maybe once no, a year. No, come more than once. But when I tell you feel at home, don't feel at home more than once. <laughs> they say, Do you understand? They say, they say, they say, I, I saw a tweet. They said, now feel at home, now I make guests for a remote. Now you feel at home, now I make guests change channel. Ah! Now feel at home, now I make guests go change for more to meet. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> You, know, you never see that one before. No, I haven't seen this. Feel at home. A person could just go kitchen. Go just change him. Mm, I, 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 don't, I don't like chicken. I prefer turkey. I'm very stupid. You, you see, feel at home now. You know you don't feel at home. Not in your house. I don't even say feel at home. You don't say it. No, I don't say it too. Be comfortable. No. Welcome. Not it. Just sit be down, there. I swear. <laughs> just, sit just be a guest. Sit down. <laughs> Welcome to the house. Welcome. Use oh, your brain. All right, man. How, how, how was your weekend, Quincy? We didn't. Dude, it was, it was messed up. It was messed up. My Saturday was the worst day I've had in 2021. Wow. Wow. I left the island at 10.05. I got to the mainland. In short, this is... 10.05 a.m.? 10.05 a.m. I got to the mainland at 6.30 p.m. What? For that be, same wedding? Yes. And this is the attire. So I know I allow waste. Oh, okay. <laughs> we didn't make it. I got there at the end. Mm. And so I had to go pick up my shoes first. Right, which is like close to the venue, and then I go to the venue like seven, mm. and then the groom and the bride were already at their destination or mm. whatever it was. So I had to call the groom, say, "Alpha, where you did? Send me the location of his hotel, and I went to meet him there." Mm. Oh wow! Yeah, very Lagos is crazy, man. What irks yeah. you the most about Lagos? What do you think? <laughs> traffic. traffic what, what kind of traffic is that? Did something happen? So Friday was they they shut down Third Millen Bridge. Yeah. And mm. yeah, it was from Friday, mm -hmm. twenty four hours, like. The whole uh, usually thing, both it sides. used to be yeah, yeah. usually it used to be um mm. one side open, one, one side, side open, closed yeah. mm. from what time to what time. They shut down the entire thing. So everyone had to go through one particular road. Mm. It just shows how messed up Lagos is. And then I used what's it called? I used Google Maps. Thanks to Google Maps by the way. Uh, when I was coming back. Yeah. It showed Sometimes me some you don't ways. want to be thankful to Google Maps, trust no, me. No, no, no. No, I said trust me, thanks to Google Maps to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. I get you. I'm just saying sometimes you don't want to be either. It don't lost me before now. Yeah. Like my destination day are the good like <laughs> So I understand. So you know all right. Yeah, that was that was it. That was it. And so you Sunday made the, you, the you thing spent your day doing what? Sleeping. You didn't go Not for the exactly. Headies. I had to come back to the island. And no, I did not go for the headies. Uh, but I needed my head in the winners. right place. Yes, I did. Yeah, okay. Well, who are you did. unhappy with? Ah, I am going to need to check the list again. Hmm. I'm not unhappy with it now. So artist um, of the year. Artist of the for year. That was. Um, uh, it Whiskid. was given to Whiskey. I feel like it should have been between David O and um, Boy. David O and Boy. Same. You don't think that Whiskey deserves it? No. They all deserve it. Even Mayokun deserves it. it. Mayokun deserves it. What about streets? The fact that um, the hmm. street up street up to, song that was given yeah. to gang gang deserved it. But you see, um, how about Mafo? All is yes. There's Mafo and then there's Instagram. Reminisces Instagram. Hmm. Huge jam, hmm. right? No, I'm, but, that one. I'm on Instagram. Okay. Right, but um, Mafo is still bigger. Sure. Mafo is bigger. Mafo is bigger. There's one one thing. With, no, not exactly. See, because of the as a point who sang of, it. as a point of point, but as a point of release, it was too strategic. The mm. beginning of the year, introduction to a new year, first hit song, mm. absolutely different and unexpected. Mm. Mm. Shows what I mean, mm. bra. Everybody, gang, gang. I, I, I forgot everybody you know did like this. We got. Uh, I bought Christmas called? Mask on the road. The guy do me like this, gang. What are you talking about? No, but you forgot we even did a, a what's it called now, a promo for this show and it was gang. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah so you so because me? of that song, we're not giving artists something or something. No, uh, no, no. Um, up, straight up. I think I think oh, he straight kind of up. deserves it. No, I think he deserves it. He yeah. deserves it. But not more than Nara, in my there's opinion. There's Instagram and then there's... And so, 
I really wouldn't have loved to be on the team of the guys yeah. who were really going to do the selections, mm -hmm. trust me. Because it was really because tight. Because it was really difficult, because 2020 was the year. 2020 was the year. In the history of Nigerian music, I want to say 2020 has the most, most released, released album yeah. in the year. And most EPs. It shows that our busy life actually cramples on creativity because yeah, we had a lot more music. We have a lot of out. things going on, you know, I, in our comfort zone. We just get used to doing things the same way. You know, people I, became innovative by using social media, using other platforms such as I, streaming. It's not, platforms. It's a I, I, don't that it's, I don't really think it's innovation from the artist. Mm. You don't I think, think what happened was COVID. Um, now, yeah, COVID. People pay attention, attention span. Yeah, yeah. do you true, understand? This, the, the attention span increased. Mm. If you like, you drop. I mean, need music more. Yeah. Yeah. People watch watch because you're not yeah. going anywhere. Nobody's just doing yeah. Everyone's just yeah. dropping yeah. music, yeah. dropping music, yeah. dropping yeah. albums and stuff yeah. like that. True. True. But surely, must have also encouraged the artists as well to because they themselves are not as distracted either, so they can produce more music. What about Fireboy? Winning that many. Fireboy won five awards. Yes, I nine felt like I felt like two of it. Uh, uh, he deserves every award he gets. Let's mm. start from there. Yes, mm. but yeah. I felt like oh, I, is it the tattoo one? I yes, single. the tattoo. I one. felt the same. The one. No, no, he got uh, R&B hands, hands down. Hands down. That's yeah, hands down. Hands down. The one that I I did right for tattoo. Yes. yes. Which tattoo? No, not tattoo. R&B. The album. This is what you're talking about. R&B album, yeah. But are you referring to the song tattoo? No, he's what, saying that the what, R&B album? album was nice. Like he deserves a hands down. It's not what you just No, said. I'm talking about the song Best R&B Single. Tattoo. Tattoo. How? Oh. Which tattoo? I think he had other songs. Okay, who's, who's, okay what R&B song like, is better see, than tattoo? Look, look. No, I think Fireboy songs. He had nicer songs on his album than tattoo. New York, no, no, New York City Girl was a, was, a nice. better, was a better pick of the body. Fine Gavin, yes, it was a R&B song. That's a R&B song. That's a pop song. No, it's an R&B song. I, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't consider that. Fireboy doesn't have pop songs. Actually, expect, well, the most you know what I call R&B song? Songs that used to make me, you know? Wine during the you know? No, no, you don't know anything about R&B. Don't you? Wow. <laughs> wow. Is that the image? I really don't know anything about modern day R&B. She's correct. She, if it's rap, you'll not be doing because that's the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> What's that? Yeah, we'll wait. Let me wait for this. <laughs> 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 oh, you don't <laughs> really speak <laughs> like this. That's how it goes. Oh, if you want to talk about rap, <laughs> hey, that's what we call some table. How do you even gesticulate like that? If uh, you do. Wait, wait, wait. I don't understand the same thing. I do the quiz. I, I look like I, I can name. Okay. No, no. Because I'll be on the other side of the table, obviously saying rubbish facts because I don't know anything about rap, right? If I'm not be vexing, I'm a great. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're making this guy's thing. Anyways, guys. Let's, 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 I need that clip. <laughs> ah, okay. All right, let's get straight to it. Yeah. And yes, if there's a difference between a rat and a king, yes, it would be um, Bobby Schmother and T9. Yes. Um, Bobby Schmother, a rapper once on the rise, thanks to a viral video that popularized the Shmoney dance, was sentenced to seven years in prison Wednesday after claiming it was railroaded into taking a guilty plea on charges and conspired with a violent drug gang. New York State Court Justice Abraham Plot, denied the request and imposed a seven-year term that was agreed to as part of a plea deal that spared Schmother from going to trial on multiple counts carrying penalties that could have put him behind bars for decades. Authorities arrested Schmother in late 2014 after he left the recording studio near Radio City Music Hall. Um, a day after he performed Boy for a national television audience on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Investigators found two handguns and a small amount of crack cocaine in a car in which he was riding. The court papers alleged that Pollard once fired a gun toward a crowd of people outside a barber shop in Brooklyn. In a jailhouse interview the last year, um, last year with the New York Times, Schmodo criticized his label Epic Records for not helping him pay his two million bill. Epic as in commented. Well, guess who is coming home, guys? Bobby Schmodo and his getting picked up by our very own Migos rapper Quavo and hey. yes big shout out you don't seem excited bro. I'm scared I am I mean, I'm scared why because I'm afraid that he'll come out and then go back just as fast that's no, my only so. worry no, that he, he will so. now start he would have shooting to be somebody the dumbest doing... person in Mm. On planet Earth, most of those boys. Because I think success really is just waiting for him after he comes out. So, um, what she says, absolute fact. It's not the first time. It's not. The you first have people time. like it's not Gucci the second Mane. time. Make mm. meal. Gucci Mane. Ti. 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 Ti's Ti situation is. He got. Um, he grew up. Not a hot. Yeah, he grew up yeah. over time. Yeah. But 
Gucci situation. How do you throw a woman out of a moving car after mm. you just left jail, bro? Exactly. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. yeah, stuff like that. But you see, for Bobby Smurda, I think um, I'm super happy for him. Me too. Right? And as as you would have a six nine rat, you have a you have a Bobby hero. Mm. Yeah, Bobby Smurda hero. And he actually was he was sentenced to jail at the age of twenty nine, mm. twenty seven. Mm. It's a whole long time. So hey, well, like somebody that, that was even up to that and just the, ratted out yeah. on everybody. Yeah, I just hope he can fit in into. See, guys, I'm it worried. Will. I'm will. very will. worried. Will. I will. want will. them to take it seriously. I don't want them to treat it like a like how black people usually treat stuff with mental health. Like he needs to understand that you know there's a lot that's happened. The world has changed mm. a lot. drastically a speaking lot. in terms of your music, your sound. I just hope he has that team, that system put in place for him to just. Blend in nicely. So that's two things prayer. from what you said. Uh, mental health, it's the same thing that's uh, going on with Kodak Black at the moment. Exactly. Mm. Right? Exactly. Going to, he also likes playing hopscotch in and out mm. of jail. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? Mm. Mm. And um, uh, the, the second part is... The sec yeah, that it's was like the guy. <laughs> he, he looked cute, but yeah. not, not in the video. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh, uh, the, second, the second thing is, um, there's one thing about going to jail and coming out, especially when you're on the Bobby Schmurder. Uh, status. It mm. is, you know, sorry, it is the grace for hit songs. Yeah. Once you come out, whatever you drop first, yes, has mm -hmm. to, it will be a banger. Yeah. People will stream it and buy it. Don't worry yourself. It's Absolutely. not the follow up. And I hope he's out of Epic Records. Because uh, they can't pay a $2 million bill. Quavo is not coming to pick him up. The I'm question pretty is, sure he's the out question of is, the question is, is do, could they afford it? Did he make that amount of money in the first place? Did they have to for them to bail them out? If, if you're asking, could they afford it? But if you're asking, did he make them that amount of money? No, he did not. not he exactly. doesn't have to. He's an artist. You, no, I don't need to. I think it artist be. and jail is not the same thing. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. It's bail for your artist. No, no, no. That's some personal stuff. I have to have a personal relationship with that artist, really personally invested, to then get myself involved in what you're doing. It's a problem with the world, you know? No, no, no. no. If it's not, you can't. I'm, I'm supposed to bail everyone. Go for it. You go and get arrested. Plus, you were supposed to build your house. And had nothing to do with Plus TV and the work. You should come and build your house. Why? Because we run a charity organization. If they need me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, if, he, if they had a personal relationship and, you know, he was, they were quite invested, then yes. But if it was just solely based on contract and you just started, you know, it's going to jabble. I must stay there. Go and call your mother and ask her if she can bury you out or something. I'm telling you. Go what I mean? You know, but it's you don't, true. You don't know who's in your you corner. Army. You don't know who's in your is corner until you. I cannot, you until cannot Caesar expect me. The fan. Oh, bro, please. When let me Caesar make a disclaimer the fan, there. Then. I'm not in your corner. Whoever <laughs> is listening to me, I'm not in your corner if I'm not friends. If I'm not personal, I'm not in your corner. If you work with me, does not mean that I'm in your corner. But if you work mm. with me and we have a personal relationship that has what gone if, past work, what if I I'm work with corner. you and I'm getting arrested on something you're passionate about? Would I be passionate in your corner? about? Yeah, would I be? Yes, in your corner of course. Then? But you, you shot at somebody. I'm not passionate about violence. <laughs> so anyways, that point taken. What a way to put it. Yeah, yeah. She, she made, she made. You did something wrong. It has nothing to do with me. I will decide if I, if, I, if you're worth it for a person. If I'm not personal. But it's a record label I'm signed to. You expect me to make you X amount of money. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, what's he called now? Let's assume Plus TV is not paying me. Mm -hmm. They don't expect me not to come to work. Do you understand? What do you mean? Because they expect me to deliver still, even though they, they hypothetically speaking, they are not paying me, right? Mm -hmm. They expect me to come to work. So if I do something and you expect to make money off me, I expect mm -hmm. you to be there for me when I need you the most. It's just... Do you agree to this? So both of you are right to a certain extent, okay. right? Mm -hmm. um, loyalty is the watchword, to be mm -hmm. honest, right? I, I see no reason why I should get into a situation that my labor can't bail me out. Mm -hmm. But in other sense, business is business, strictly financial. Do you understand what I mean? Um, you might want to protect your head. But if I understand your business situations. and I still deliver for you, why wouldn't you be there for me when I need you to? How many songs you deliver? Oh, God, how oh, many? As oh, in... Come on, man. Those views, those want, streams, no, those... No, that, that, was, was, that, that was... That was... That was... That was... That was... That was... That's the guy that had a bright future. No, you see, this is... Yes. Right? Honestly, um, a hot N-word mm. was a smash hit. And... To say they made two million dollars, mm. that's is, a stretch. Is, no, it's not. It's a stretch. They made, they made way, way more. Than no, not when we was asking for bail, guys. That was progressive. That took time to get no. those numbers. They didn't get. It's not you get the numbers immediately. Within the before, oh. within the time of it got signed release, after. Within the time of his release, within the time yeah, of his release, yeah. exactly to um, 
to the point of jail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he made way more than that on the amount of streams and downloads from the songs alone and last size mm. from performances. And the views. And it's, come on. Oh, well, I can't really argue for it, because I don't have his back. Yeah, you don't, you don't know about rap, guy. Uh -huh. You don't know about it. <laughs> you, what you know about rap? Now, yeah, now it's my turn. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on, guys. So, controversial Nigerian media personality. So, okay, Market Wise disclosed the one thing she Sweet thinks about <laughs> whenever she sees a pregnant woman. What she considers are all the roles or all the positions that got her there, according to the media girl and serial entrepreneur. Every time I see a pregnant lady, all I imagine is all the positions that got her here. You've been doing the nasty. My mind is crazy. I know. She thinks like me, guys. <laughs> Hmm. Expose yourself. Who else think? Well, expose myself. How? <laughs> she thinks like me. That's what I think. I've I've seen women that I just see them pregnant. I don't even know that they've even started. That's what I think about, not the positions. I think mommy and daddy, you guys. <laughs> okay. Like it's some really uptight couples, yeah. you know, like don't even smile. I've never seen them hold yeah. hands. So for me to not imagine like, that you're like uh, so at night you guys yeah, do you yeah. all of that you know, all that stuff. Like okay. for real. <laughs> but I don't think about the positions because I don't think positions no, I don't matter think about now. The positions. I, I just think about shoot, the fact shoot. that you're actually doing that. Like, yeah, me too. How can you? Sorry, is it only restricted to you? Sometimes I'll do like, ooh, 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 because no. I cannot imagine that the mother I have at home has done this thing that you're talking about right now. Are you sure there's no other way? Like maybe you can pray to God and like maybe there's many Marys, you know, like... And then a seagull would deliver you, it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a bed and just drop the baby or something mm. inside her stomach. But like, are you sure every couple does that? <laughs> okay. Well, every couple does that. Yes, they uh, do. I'm sure, D. Let's talk to the professional on this table. Wow. Okay, so uh, being a professional so at... Uh, at doing such stuff, I must say that uh, it is limited to the brave hearted. Um, I must straight. also include that uh, I can't even believe you're actually getting into such positions uh, that might end you in such a situation. Mm. Um, it means you didn't take necessary precautions. <laughs> um, what if you're married? What precaution should I take? Oh, no, no, if you're married and you like the situation then the process Come is not a problem. <laughs> well, you need to also understand family planning. Yes, sir. You do not want um, a full Manchester United squad with substitutes. Mm. How many is All that? right, so wait. I want, to ask, I want to ask How many, a, is that? A How many people are on a, on a football thing? Eleven. Eleven. First. I want to ask um, a question, right? When you're in, it's a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, right? I'm single, by the way. Please, peep, okay. peep my oh, professional right, position. Hmm? Peep my professional pose. Yeah, I see that. So, in case you're in a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, yeah. right? And um, the girl gets pregnant. Who's responsible for... And you're both not ready. Who's, who should take responsibility? Say that for again. What? Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. <laughs> I think the answer is in there somewhere for you. A boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. Yes, sir. And um, the girl gets pregnant. Yes, right? sir. And you, when it started, maybe you were going to get the posts, you know, morning after, mm -hmm. all of that. Do you think it, there's a level where it becomes the woman's responsibility to know that when she has, um, you know, unprotected um, with you, she should get, um, you know, some Absolutely. form of... Let me ask you a question is it, is first. It, is it the woman's I think, responsibility? I think that if you're guy? talking about taking the most caution, it mm. is the person... The person has the body now. Mm. It's the, you cannot be more protective of my body than <clears throat> I would about my body. Do you mm. know what I mean? Mm. Like, you can say to me that, oh... I think you should do A, B, C, and D. But mm. it's me that will actually have to swallow the thing. Mm. If I even put it in my mouth, I'm, I'm not swallowing. So mm. at the end of the day, I'm still the most responsible for my body. But if you're asking about decision-making, it's still the woman. How about okay. you? What do you think? It's both parts. Well, I want to start by telling her I don't think she has met me. Mm. Well, you I blame every mouth. man mm. for every possible unwanted pregnancy. Mm. Why? Uh, because, you see... Um, being in this industry, <laughs> over time, yeah. I've had women try to, uh, you, know, you know, help themselves you. by, you know, trying to hold baby on my behalf that I did not send. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, um, so I resorted to, you know. Opening their mouth and say, take the thing out. Obviously yeah. not. Yeah, Baba, the bike cut on. Baba, no, 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 no. Once it's done, we're going out together. We're going to the pharmacy together. Mm. I am paying. 
Which I'm buying. You getting protection I'm giving for you yourself. the water. How about Look, getting protection? My brother, the protection is not 100% yes, no. protected. That's not 100% either, is it? Uh, well, well, which one? No it does the job. Mm. So it's like one percent. It was very, so very yeah. Yeah. until I met this like particular woman. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Uh, you fell in love. Yes, I did. <laughs> Is that the truth? I don't think that's the truth. Catch the rest on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.